Hello everybody, and welcome to the Labyrinth Zone, the fourth level of this game, and the first water level in the Sonic series. Yes, um, water does a lot of different things to Sonic. Well, first of all, it makes him move more sluggishly, of course, because it's a lot denser. But also, unlike Mario, Sonic can't hold his breath indefinitely. He can't even hold it for 10 minutes like Guybrush Threepwood. So, he has to breathe in the air bubbles like this. Or else you get that quite terrifying drowning sound. Yes, which you will probably hear at some point. Although I'm going to be trying my best to avoid it because, after all, who wants Sonic to drown? Alright, this is <clears throat> for a lot of, uh, you know, newcomers to the Sonic series, this, game, this level is um, pretty hard. Whoa! Escaped a certain death by a uh, mere fraction of a moment there. Alright. Destroy these chompy guys. It's always a good idea to get these air bubbles whenever you see them, because you don't know when the next one is going to come. Yes, you really can't uh, trust on many of them to be there. Let the current carry us away. Now let's be careful of these things. They'll shoot you right up into spikes and you'll die. Yes, it's pretty much instant death. Let's make our way recklessly forward here. Up we go. And we have to hit a switch up here. <clears throat> yes, you want to watch out for that spike though because, again, it's instant death when you uh, are smashed into a spike in such a manner, as you might imagine. So let's make our way forward. Get rid of that guy. Get some air. It's interesting because some of the um, bubbles will um, give you air pretty quickly, whereas some of them will take a uh, a good while to give you a bubble large enough that you can breathe. So you can't really rely on them too much. Ouch! Oh well, there goes any chance for a special stage now. But like I said before, we have plenty of opportunities to get that final emerald. All these things are corks, like bottle corks, and they rise and fall with the currents of the water. So, um, you ride them when the water goes up and down, mostly up. These guys, I think they're called Orbanats, they're a pain in the butt, so avoid them if you can, or at least avoid their little spikes until they throw them all. Then you can just, uh, then you can just, uh, hit them and they're pretty defenseless. Alright, the water rise is here. It's good to move on kind of quickly because there's not air until over here. Ouch. I really am being reckless this level. But that's alright. Um, Labyrinth Zone usually isn't your best bet to get into the special stage anyway. Um, Yes, don't want to backtrack that way. But we're already at the end. I'm not too worried if I don't get into the special stage in Labyrinth Zone. There's always, um... You know, Starlight Zone is usually a better area to get into a special stage. But anyway, Act 2. And this introduces another element to this zone, that being the Water Slide. Whee! Water Slides are very fun in real life. And even in Sonic, they're not, you know, that bad, but, you know, they can be dangerous if you don't pay too much attention to what you're doing. Smack him. Get ourselves some rings. And get ourselves some air. Oh, you heard it there. The beginnings of the infamous drowning sounds. Alright. Ouch. So let's get some air before we move forward. Yes, air is a very important part of any balanced diet. I might have talked about water addiction in a SimCity episode, but have you ever thought about the horrors of air addiction? I mean, 
if you can go without water for a few days, but if you go without air for just a few minutes, you'll die. I mean, that's a serious addiction. So, I don't know. I think that's something else we should write to our congressmen about, or whatever your local form of government is out there in, um, I don't know, TV land, YouTube land, whatever you call it. Yes, that switch over there opens this door here. So here's where we go, deep into the water, so it's a good idea to get this uh, thing so you can uh, smash on through the obstacles, because air is hard to find. Right, we'll get it here before we move on. After a while, you can time the end of your invincibility to um, the music, because you know exactly when it's going to stop. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. No, oh, 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 oh. Ha. Got you. All right, let's take this before going on. Up we go. All right. You can also duck to avoid these things. I can barely see them on the top of my window there, but, yep. All gone now. Rings for me. We're in a good um, standing to possibly get in the special stage if I don't make any other silly mistakes. Which is far from guaranteed. Alright, up we go. Oh no! There you go, folks. You got to hear the entire uh, freakish sound right there, and that was totally on purpose. But anyway, we're at the end of the level, and yep, special stage time. All right. <clears throat> and already we are right by the the crystal. I'm not sure why this one decides to be so easy. I guess I consider, well, if you're able to somehow get 50 rings in the Labyrinth Zone, we're going to go easy on you here. And hey, A-OK -okay by me. I'm not going to complain in the slightest. So, that was quick. Emerald Desires. Sonic got them all. Yes, that's right. I now control all the Chaos Emeralds. Which means we get the, the best ending of the game. And now all we have to do is just beat the regular game. Wee Water Slide! There's a bit of a puzzle here. You just have to jump to um, this one to get through here. And you hear that sound, it's the earth, literally the earth moving into position. Yeah, it's funny how some of these things will enable you to open doors, and some of them will enable you to literally move the earth. Huh. But anyway, there's two paths. What you want to do is, not that, you want to stand on this middle block right here, let it drop, and take this route. The upper route is longer, harder, and generally not somewhere you want to go. I could really use some rings right about now. Oh uh, yes, this is the, um, this kind of thing you'll see many more times in future Sonic games. Uh-oh, gotta get some air. Yes. Alright, now the thing we want to do here is bounce up here, and do that to open the door. Want to move forward before it closes. And once again, more air. Ah, air. It's a wonderful thing. Oh boy, ouch. Oh no, oh no. Oh boy. Well, that was close. Well, let's smack him, get some air, and move forward. Yes, having no rings means you have to be really careful in everything you do, because anything can kill you. But here's the surface of the water. And hey, guess what, everybody? We're already at the end of the stage. So, jump on these corks, let them carry you up. And you want to move as quickly as you can to outrun the water. 
because if the water catches up to you, this suddenly becomes a whole lot harder. Alright, so let's move our way up. Make sure you get this shield, it's very important. And now is our Robotnik fight. And I use, I would use finger quotes for the words fight, because you're not really fighting him as much as you are chasing him. And you don't even actually have to hit him eight times, or indeed, at all, to win this fight. You just have to, um, you just have to get up to the top. Now, if you're a really skilled player, and I mean, like, super skilled, you can hit him eight times, but I'm just going to hit him this once. There you go. Yeah, you run away. All right. Well, that's it for the Labyrinth Zone. We've already managed to collect all the emeralds. And we're going to face Robotnik again on Starlight Zone. So, see you next time, everybody.